ladies and gentlemen, uh, a part of what we do is we like to uh, talk about what we expect and when it's, and some of the things that we want. So we're going to have to go ahead and move on real quick. Dun, 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 <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is. That was yeah, awesome. Buddy. That's, uh, man, you are <laughs> money with these hey, transitions. Hey, we're today. moving. We're moving. We're going to do this oh, thing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's that go. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, but real quick, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's a new season. The fall is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. July 8th. The Hall of Fame game is what? In a couple days? You know what I mean? Not that long for us. Maybe a week away. We got fan, um, college, uh Preseason football and then the NFL is right here soon. So one of the things that's coming this fall, ladies and gentlemen, and one of the things that started this whole show, if you look up in Will's box right above him in the upper, uh, yep, right there, is the little emblem that says, let's talk football, which is the first show of all of this with my co-host, Miss Janae Struther. And we're going to be back in a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, uh, one, of our, one of our favorite little – uh, second, we got to talk about these uh, middle-of-the-road teams, ladies and gentlemen. Although we go to the middle of the road, still I can't let go. Your team needs some help. Please get help. You need help. Man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The middle of the daggone road, yeah. man. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. So this fall, Monday nights at 6.30, before the Monday night game, we'll be on there, myself, Janae Struther, and it's always good because I get to rep my Washington stuff. Unfortunately, she happens to be a cowboy, so there's always good banter and bickering and going back and forth with her, and when we win this year, (laughs) when we win this year, let me tell you. We're going to be all over her show. Washington Football Weekly is going to evade every show. That's the, that's a good thing about being uh, in charge of this thing. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Washington Football Weekly every single day. Let's go. <laughs> but, yo, we got to get into this. We're going to talk about our stat and product. Oh, yeah. What's up, real man? Quick, real quick. I'm sorry. Well, he's right. He's right. Yeah, my man. Um, well, Alex? Uh, Jacob Pineskin. Oh. Let's go. It's Michigan, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Wasn't it, it looks like Michigan State? No, it's Michigan State, but it's a Michigan name. It's our Michigan that area, Midwest. I don't like I don't, that. I'm I'm really sure. You have to I'm do one, bro. What are you doing? You like, you know what I'm saying? Are you, no. Are you, in, are you Baltimore, too? No, like, no. Are, you, are, you, are you a Baltimore fan now, too? I'm trying, I'm trying to do my due diligence, man. I'm coming that's, on here that's, with, that's with the you making right now, though. I'm just trying to talk. Let's get it, man. Yo, let's get it, man. Yo, we, yo we're we talking about these stat projections and, and uh, production projections from some of our top guys and our overall offense and our defense. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you missed it, we're going to go start right away with Carson Wentz. We, we discussed this last week. Let's uh, let's revisit that. Uh, Ab, do you remember what uh, you, you called for Carson Wentz? Or two weeks ago, I'm sorry. I keep saying last week. Do you remember what you called for Carson Wentz? I don't recall. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I have this uh, written down. Uh, Ab, Ab said uh, he will be th- he will be a sixty five percent completion percentage. That's, that's, that's nice. Right. That's right. Uh, Ab said uh, forty eight hundred yards. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thirty three TDs. Okay. And seven interceptions. Okay. Okay. You were, okay. You were gonna love you some Carson Wentz. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I, let me let me take that back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me, let me edit that a little bit. Okay. Um. Forty-four fifty. Ooh, yards. okay. But everything else is on. Okay. Everything okay. else is on. Okay. I can see. Just being a little realistic. Seven. First year in the offense, third offense in three years. Yeah, uh, new, new system. New uh, wide receivers. Better wide receivers, mm-hmm. by the way. Um, mm-hmm. off, uh, I would say a good depth offensive line. So I, I honestly, and he got some legs. And uh, someone brought up. Um, Brought up some points that I didn't catch on to. 
Carson Wentz is a runner, guys. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. he ain't no Michael Vick, but my man going to put up some yards. Yeah. Let's say 450 on that aspect mm. and maybe four touchdowns on top of that. Give me my man, man. Ooh. Give it to me, bro. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, I like bro. That. I ain't okay. playing. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, pretty, pretty lofty. <laughs> Pretty right. Lofty. I feel like, that, some of, like the numbers I used to put up playing Madden. And so, yeah. but I would love to, I would love You're to see killing it. it man. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Will, what you got, man? Uh, what did I do last time? Did I say 2,800 yards? No, last no, time you said 3,700. Okay. 28 TDs. There we go. 12 interceptions. Yep. That yep, sounds about it. That sound, yep. sounds about right. I think he'll have a, a few more yards passing this year than he did with the Colts because mm-hmm. we have better wide receivers. Just like Sydney said, you know, um, McLaurin's the best receiver he's ever had. Yep. Um, and he's the best receiver McC- quarterback McLaurin's ever had. So I think he'll get a few more yards, a um, few more touchdowns, but I think he'll be a little bit more risky. Mm-hmm. And so he'll throw more picks than he did last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I, I, I said. I think he'll do better than uh, what's his name? I don't even remember his name no more. So who, like, who Heineke? Oh uh, yeah, Heineke. that's there, there you go. That beer, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So like, I I I think he'll do better than him. They'll yeah. check down more. So I think the interceptions will be less. That's mm. that's just how I see it. Yeah. Um, I said last time. I said thirty two uh, thirty two hundred yards, um, about thirty touchdowns, thirteen interceptions. And I also said that he's going to be, like you said, Ab, I think his legs are, are – he is very uh, underappreciated on his running game because I think he's going to be able to really get us some scr- yards. We we know this firsthand. How many times did he break the pocket when we thought we had him, mm-hmm. you know, taken down, and all of a sudden he scrambles out for 10, 15 yards? I mean, if he compiles all the yards he had against us, I'm sure that's, you know, a couple hundred. So – he, I think that's going to be something that's going to really be solid for us this coming year, um, his running ability. People forget he's big, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Big. Yes. And, um, and he, like, so those short yardages that we – was like, really sus that we were going to get on, like, fourth and two or something like that or getting into the end zone, he's just going to go head first. That alone right there – he got two yeah. feet of arms, bro, just yeah. like you did, Sean. Like, that yeah. dude is going to be – like, right it's going to be ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, moving on. To our running back, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Antonio Gibson. Will, I'm gonna to come to you first. What do you think? What do you what do you think of this guy? What do you think he's gonna do this year? Yeah, so uh, this is kind of an interesting year for, for Gibson because mm-hmm. this is kind of put up or shut up, and, yeah. and they drafted someone to replace him if they need to. And I think I think Brian Robinson is gonna chunk into some of his, his playing time. Um, so Vegas put him out at 869 yards Hmm. and seven touchdowns. I think he's going to, I would take the over on the yardage. I think Hmm. he's still going to get more yards because I do think he's going to be motivated. I mean, we didn't think he had a very good year last year and he still had over a thousand yards. He just got over a thousand yards. So I I still think he's going to, he's going to do that, but he's going to be motivated to, to go hard. I don't know if he's going to get that many touchdowns. I think Robinson's may come in and steal some of those. So I can I can see Gibson getting a third straight at thousand yards, um, but because I, I, I think we're going to be very run heavy in in our offense, um, and and but he's got he's this is it because Robinson's in the waiting ready to go and they yep. like him and I think he's really going to push him which could be a good thing. Yeah, and um, honestly, uh, this is another one of the groups that I'm really interested in going back to have our running back days. You know, what I mean, this we actually have four guys that if we dedicated solid time to them, we can really grow around them. But just those first three, Gibson, McKissick, and now Brian Robinson, I'm excited about that. But I think a lot – there's only one football. You know what I mean? A lot of things that I heard today, there's only one football, especially when it comes to the quarterback pass and all these receivers, but same with the running backs. You know what I mean? So I really want Robinson in there. I really want McKissick in there. But obviously, Gibson is the main guy. And as long as he stays healthy, I think he's going to eat. Um, I don't have him going over 1,000 yards, though. And I think it's not as not because he doesn't do well. I just think there's going to be, a, like I said, there's going to be another guy getting a lot of carries. Robinson is 
a oh, well yet to be seen, but we're expecting him to be a bruising force. This guy had over five you know yards of carry in college, over thirteen hundred yards last year. So we're expecting him to come in there and actually get those tough yards for us. So I think he's going to eat a little bit of that. Um, but I'm definitely expecting Gibson to get about 800 yards. But I think Gibson is going to hit that screen game and those little quick out flats. Abby, you were talking about the check downs. Gibson's going to hit those. And I think he's going to have like 350 to 400 receiving yards and a couple touchdowns like that. Um, and uh, I think McKissick, him and McKissick are really going to do some deep. I think to kind of what Ab has been saying, I think people are going to eat this year. And I think especially those running backs out of the backfield until Logan Thomas gets back and we really solidify a a threat at tight end, I think those running backs are really going to eat. And I think Gibson's really going to do something this year. So, uh, Ab, what do you think, man? Everything we're talking about is all assuming everyone's healthy. Well, right, right. Right. uh, Do not – uh, I thought you said he was going to do this. No, no, no. This like we should have a little asterisks right here. Just right. if everybody's healthy, like, you know, like that's what we should put down. But if everybody's healthy, I agree with Sean. Like it's about eight fifty, eight fifty. Because just like uh, he said, I think Robinson's going to eat. I think Robinson's going to show he's going to do enough where it's going to be like, uh, who's going to be your starting running back mm-hmm. next year. Yep. I think that's where it's going to be at, especially, especially if Gibson continues to fumble the ball, we need someone. We, so we kept putting Gibson in because we had no one else behind them to be like here, like Sean, when we got in trouble for uh, doing something bad, what did, what did coach do? He took us out the game. Mm-hmm. So he took us off the game and like, be like, you're in timeout. And yep. honestly, that's the worst punishment, yes. bro. The yeah. worst punishment. But we couldn't do that with him because we had no one else behind him to sit there and be like and take all those snaps that we needed from the running back. Right. So Robinson is going to be there like, I hope he messes up, boy. Like, you know, <laughs> right. like, you know it's right. like it's your own team, but, you, but you're in competition with your team. So you're like secretly like. Man, I just waiting for my chance, bro. I just, I just shot, want bro. my chance. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, I hope he hope I hope he springs a toe. Like, that's right. what, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just like I just need my chance and I'm gonna shine out. And I'm trying to tell you, Robinson is like that right now. Mm-hmm. He's second man up and like he's good enough to start, maybe. And but we'll see this year. But like my man, like honestly, so he's gonna take some snaps at the same time. So yeah. And so I think Robinson might have his own, like have, might have his own. He might have seven hundred yards. You know what I'm mm. saying? So, mm. yeah. Oh yeah, I mean that would be dope. I can see. I'm telling you, I I agree. I think I think they're gonna eat together, man. I think it's gonna be and and another group that's gonna eat is our wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we know this man not only got paid, but now he's got a quarterback finally after. All of the Jason Campbells and the Josh Johnsons and the, the Tyler Heineke's and the, you know, uh, uh, Alex Smith and all these guys. He finally has a quarterback that can light it up. Ab, you told us 40, 44, 5, 4,450 yards. You know what I mean? Yeah, 4,450. Yeah, 4,450. Like, we know, we know our boy Terry is going to eat some of that, a lot of that. So, what are you expecting for Terry this year? So how I uh, will off the top do you, or anyone do you, anyone know uh how much he had last year? I think 77 77 uh, for 1053. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Average like 13.7. Yeah, so like honestly this is where he proves everybody like me wrong. This year is where he like cuz honestly I know you guys don't remember but like earlier on in our days I I said he's nothing but a possession receiver. Mm-hmm. I I did. I I yep. and I honestly, his stats prove it. That like you know what I'm saying he needs a whole he needs repetition in order to get his yardage. And honestly, I think he's a phenomenal receiver. But with the limit at quarterback that we've had, it has made him a possession receiver. All he does is catches the ball, get tackled. Catches the ball, get tackled. Catches mm-hmm. the ball, get tackled. And honestly, this is where. He has a better quarterback, and this is where he shows that he's top echelon. Yep. You like that that word right there? I had, <laughs> I had it back. Echelon, right? <laughs> echelon of the league. 
my man might get 1400 yards guys <laughs> my man might get 1400 yards oh, yeah. because this is I, I honestly believe that a quarterback has been holding him back mm-hmm. and doing what other people ever, other wide receivers are doing okay so 1400 yards and double digit touchdowns that's what that's what i'm talking about mm. oh i like that Oh, I definitely year. like that. Year. Yeah. He, he, you got to go big. If you, you have big stats for Carson, someone's got to got to be catching it. So, yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And not and not to mention he has that uh, the, the other court, uh, other wide receivers taking the smoke off of him. Like, mm-hmm. honestly, he's getting a thousand yards a year with double coverage, bro. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So if yeah. we have someone j- to respect the other side of the field, then it takes a bit off of my man. So Absolutely. he is definitely he's definitely going to eat the most off of Carson Wentz, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Will, what are you thinking, man? Yeah, I'm I'm in agreement. Um, the Vegas Lions has a thousand yards and six and a half touchdowns. That's the easiest pound the over I've ever read. Yep. I mean, he he was getting a thousand yards with uh, one legged Alex Smith thrown to him, <laughs> and he got like you said, he got over a thousand yards with with uh, check down Taylor Heineke. You know, yep. they would not let him throw more than ten yards downfield. Yeah. That ball does not go in the air that long. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so if he can do that, yeah, we're talking. Everyone's so excited to see Terry in the regular season. Mm-hmm. Show it, show us what he can do. Sydney said it. I, I'm was watching a thing on the side here where he said, you know, this is the best quarterback McLaurin has ever had. Yep. You know, so, and I think he, you're going to see a lot more of him running past people, just like you said, Ab. He's no longer having to run possession routes. He can run deep. We can, we can let him loose. So, yeah, I'm seeing well over 1,200, 1,300 yards. I think, you know, at, close to 10 touchdowns as well, only because yep. we got a lot of weapons. Oh, yeah. But I think he's I think he's going to really show out where people are going to go, oh, yeah, he might be as good as A.J. Brown. You're right. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I And I think it's now it, – I, Ab, I think you hit the nail on the head. This is where he proves all of us wrong. This is where, you know, the guy that we all think is not listening to the writers and the commentators and people like us is co- really coming after the people that didn't put him on the top 100 list. You know what I mean? That, that are saying, you know, he, things like he is a possession receiver. He's coming after all of them and saying, I got my quarterback. I got my money. It's my time to go. I'm with you guys. I say, you know, about 1,200 yards, like 1,250, um, 11 touchdowns. And I'm saying 93 receptions. I'm saying him and Carson are on another wavelength. And with all, with the, you know, Samuel coming around, with my guy Diami being found, Hopefully we found him this year. Other than that, you need to go back to North Carolina. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's for me. All right. <laughs> but I, I'm honestly, I, I'm thinking that Terry's really going to have a breakout season, and he's really going to submit that role as a number one wide receiver and somebody that needs to be respected in this league. You know. So, yo. So we we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on. We want to talk about the overall offense. Will, I'm gonna come to you first. We've seen, we've talked about our quarterback. We've talked about our running back. We've talked about different pieces, kind of as we've been talking about, you know, McLaurin and, and, and the whole team. What are you thinking overall? You know, what are you thinking? How do you think we're going to do, you know, ranks and what do you, what do you think, man? I, I think we're going to, we're going to like this offense. Um, I think, you know, for the first time, we've got a quarterback that is capable of slinging it. He's a mm-hmm. professional quarterback. We've got someone back there that was capable of making plays, and he wants to make plays. He wants to be exciting out there. He doesn't. He's not looking to just do checkdowns because that's what that's the best thing he can do. He wants to have big, big, exciting plays, and so I think the offense is going to do really well. We've got we we've said it. We've got talent at running back. We've got rotation pieces. We've got wide receivers. The rookie coming in, um, you know that that looks very impressive. Where it's going to take you know, some of the pressure off Terry and these new tight ends. And we've got an offensive line that that is, you know, some two new starters, but they know the system. I think our offense is going to do really well. I think we're going to be a top 15 easily. I don't know if I can necessarily say top 10, so I'll probably say that 10 to 15 mark. Um, but I, I think I think the offense is what's going to keep us in games yeah. is what I'm seeing from that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ab, what do you think? 
I'm double down on what uh, Will said, man. Like, um, I like honestly, I I think it's a whole bunch of situational football and mm-hmm. um, whatever we like. If I think we're going to throw a lot just because uh, we're going as I predict we're going to do well, but I think it's going to come, like not do well, like blowing teams out, like. Right. Oh, right. we won last possession of the game right. a few times. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but uh, and that's why. But I think we're going to be a respectable offense this year. Yeah. Um, top twelve. Top twelve. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go top twelve. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Yep. No, I. Yep. I mean, I mean, I'm in lock. I'm in lockstep with you guys. Like honestly, I, I would say about eleventh, but I would say pass heavy. I would say eighth. In passing, I think we're going to be like lightening up, like we've all been talking about, and I think the rush is going to take a hit. Like I think we're going to be like seventeenth and rush, like where it's just like we have two different guys that are both eating, like we talk about with Robinson and, and Gibson, and it's kind of like no one guy is the main, you know, our you know, not we don't have a Jonathan Taylor or Derrick Henry, we have a couple a two headed monster we can do it. So I, I'm thinking, yeah, our passing game is going to get us in there, but I, I'm I'm absolutely agreeing with you guys that we're doing it early now. Going to the defense, which is something that one couple weeks years ago, you know, obviously it was a COVID year, and you know we dealt with a bunch of bad quarterbacks in a row. But hey, we want we were one of the top five defenses. We were a top tier defense. Obviously, things did not pan out. Several injuries um, uh, contributed to that. But let's go. What are we thinking about our uh, defense? Um, Will, what do you think? I don't have the highest of hopes. That's my biggest question mark right now. We've got some injuries coming up, which we're going to kind of get into a little bit. But we've got some guys on the men that we're not sure about, um, who's a, a big impact players. Um, I don't know what we're doing at linebacker right now. And the secondary, I, I can only hope in year two improves. Um um, I know it's a segment like it, love it, hate it, so I don't want to go too far. But I, from a stat part, I, I feel like we're going to be kind of like what, what Ab said, um, last possession of the game, winning games. And I think it's going to be because we're going to be have scores in the high 20s and 30s because I don't know if we're going to be able to stop people on on defense. But at least we got the offense that, that finally, you know, can put up some points. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ab, what are you thinking? Um, to me, I, I just think that it's, um, the defense is actually going to struggle a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. We are, um, uh, we are a few people down, um, our linebackers are sus, um, and we're put the, uh, putting a lot, uh, responsibility on a second year player that has what four concussions. Mm-hmm. So like we, like to me, it's like we're learning the defense all over again. And not to mention uh, Jack Del Rio is probably um, <sighs> archaic with his play calling. So like, it's not, it's not inventive. It's not, it's, it's not a mix of it. Like there's no stunts. There's like, just like, it, it it's really boring. And like, to me, it's just like a lot of times you got to mix it up. And if you're, calling the same plays, calling the same defenses, then and granted, I know one of our best players is down, but we just, to me, you got to mix it up a little bit. You can't just keep putting the same old thing out there. And hopefully, like, just praying, praying that we do well enough to um, command respect and um, not put a lot of responsibility on the other side of the ball. Like, last, like, I, I know we've always talked about it, like, Defense do what they have to do, so offense can do whatever they have to. Right. This people respecting, like you, like you basically do enough, so you're not putting so much pressure on the other side. Right. And I, to me, I think the defense is going to put a lot of pressure on the offense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I'm I'm right there with you. I think it's going to be a very middle of the road defense. I think it's going to come in at at certain times in the season when we're going to need it you know, to help us potentially make a run or, you know, uh, uh, like win us some games late in the game or something like that. But we're also going to get gashed again. We haven't really addressed the linebacker need like we've talked about. Um, I think I, I'm really dependent. One of the things I said in training camp looking at is the secondary. So I'm really dependent on them to make something happen this year. 
We've already we talked about linebacker. We talked about you know Chase being out and how the defensive line is. You know we're gonna figure that whole thing out. So I'm really dependent on that that, that you know the safeties. You know McCain. You know Kendall Fuller, Jackson, Benjamin St. Juice. You know what I mean? These guys. I'm really expecting them to make something happen, and and I think we're gonna depend on that. If we can get a no fly zone, a bend but don't break defense, that might be able to help us and get us to win a couple of these games. Um, that that because like you said, I, I think it's gonna be some high scoring. You know, we we Will and I were talking about it last uh, last time we we're on. It was that you know we might have some 41 to 37 games. You know, we might have it where we have the air power to do that, but our defense is struggling at the same time. So it's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.